Today, I had this club on 18th Avenue uh, a while before I had it, and I had problems with the uh, yeah, grease balls, the zips, or whatever you want to call them. A lot of people say that's not a good word, but with us, I think we understand. I'm not saying it in a negative way, but from Italy, when I was with the Colombo family, I'm in that same club much later on. I never had trouble with them anymore, thank God. But we ran a, a game, and uh, one night I'm in the game, and to keep it alive, we didn't have enough players. And I'm exhausted. It's, it's late, late at night, and uh, we've been gambling, and I'm up, and I'm tired, and, and I move down in my seat, I put my head back, I'm out of the hand, so I'm just chilling, my eyes are half fucking closed, I'm, I'm ready to go to sleep, really. And I noticed the guy directly across from me is dealing the cards, because we would rotate who deals the cards. We'd go right around, playing poker. I'm not hungry! You're having one more bite! No! One more bite! So as he's going and I'm, my, my eyes are way down here, I see his finger, his pinky finger go up and I see the card on the bottom go out. I was tired, I said, what the fuck? And it happened so fast, but I said, I think he's dealing from the bottom of the deck. These women guys who hung out with us, these were guys who heard about the game, somebody brought them, they came in, two guys, so now I'm alert. I'm watching when it gets to him dealing and his partner is sitting over here and he's sitting over there. And I'm right this across from him like this. Now I'm looking. I see the bottom card. Let's say it's an ace of spades. It was an ace. I don't know if it was clubs or ace of spades, but let's call it the ace of spades. And sure enough, the card disappears. So fucking fast, by I could have blinked and missed it. But the guy who won over here, his partner won the hand and had that ace of spades. And it was incredible now that I think about it, not now, but then I noticed every time he dealt, he won. Back then, you'd call them a mechanic. They were professional cheaters. They can shuffle the cards a certain way. They know what card is going to come out, who's going to get the card. So every time he deals, he wins. And cards disappear off the bottom, and he's got them in his hand. OK, so this is the two. We play for a little while longer. It's down to a few guys. I said, listen, guys, I'm too tired. I'm not going to play no more. There's only like three, four guys. Let's call it a night. OK, OK, Sammy. Yeah, all right. Boom, boom. So this guy's going to leave. Some of his capaches were there. All right, take care, bro. I'll talk to you. This guy's going to go, all right, I'll see you. This guy is going to leave. No, 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 not you. You stay. You're going to stay. Another guy leaves. The other guy, you could sit down too. I called Tato's son and I told him, bring down a friend. He knew exactly what I was talking about. And he was down, no time flat. I said, that was slick as a bastard, bro. I mean, every week, you guys won. You may have lost a few dollars. 100, 150, but he always won 14, 1500. Pretty good. Pretty slick. When you're in this club, do you have any idea what kind of people you're with? It's a mafia club, right? Thug, thuggish guys, guys like me, sitting in the club with you. That's who you're robbing and cheating. You ever think what would happen if you get caught? 
Let me explain to you real quick. News are going to die tonight. Today, you're buying online and picking up in store. Tomorrow, you're making an entrance. Now at Men's Warehouse. I'm going to tell you in advance. But I want to discuss a few things with you before I kill you. I'm going to give you the cards. You. I'm going to give you the fucking cards. Show me how you do it. No, no, Sammy, I swear to God, I don't swear nothing, bro. You're going to die. Your last night on earth, that's what you want to do is like? What's the difference? Show me what the fuck you did and how you do it. He answered a certain way, and Tyler's son, Charlie, hit him a fucking shot. Real good shot, right in the fucking face, right in the eye, busted his fucking eye wide open. Blood is pouring down his face. Get me a towel. You don't need no towel. Get your hands away from your fucking face. I want to see the blood dripping down your fucking face. We don't need a towel. The whole place is going to be full of blood. And we got to clean it up. So uh, that little bit, don't even worry about it. Just sit there. They're begging. The other guy, he's crying. With real tears, he's crying. So I said to the guy who was crying, stop crying. You're going to die like a little bitch. You want to die like that? So finally, after telling him and he's petrified to show me what he's doing, he showed me how to do it. I was super impressed how this guy could manipulate cards. I mean, even showing me, I couldn't even comprehend it. My fingers are all fucked up. I could never do that. But he was good at it. I, I, I got to give him that. I didn't say that then, but I'm saying it now. He was good at it. Real good. I get up, talk with Louis Tropi a little bit. Talk with Charlie a little bit. I said, I don't know. I really don't know if this is a killing offense. I'm doing more scaring them than anything else. I really don't know if I want to kill these guys over cheating. We cheat. We do all kinds of things. I mean, they're in the wrong joint, but maybe they got lucky to be in this joint with us. I started talking to them again. I said, listen, this is what I'm going to do with you guys. Get him a towel for his fucking face. Stop dripping on my fucking floor. I said, here's exactly what I'm going to do with you guys. Both of you are going to come to work for me. You're going to mop the fucking place and clean the place. You, when somebody wants a sandwich when they're playing cards, you're going to make the sandwich, bring it to them on a plate with a napkin. Here you go, sir. If they want a cup of coffee, we're going to show you how to use the coffee machine. You're going to work for me. That's exactly what you're going to do. I'm going to figure out how much we lost. And I'm going to hit you with a number. You're going to pay that number back. From your pay. From your wherever you get money and make money. And when that's paid off. And I decide that your debt is paid. And I don't need to do this with you. Then I'll give you a complete pass. And here's how I'm going to trust you. Give me your wallets and give me everything. I am Aisha Protlier. I grew up in a small town. I didn't look like my family. I go through it. Now I know you, where you live. I know a lot about you. I'm going to know everything about you. Who's this picture? Who's this of? That's my daughter. You love her? Of course. I'm going to see how much you love her. When I let you go, if you take off, if you don't come around, I'm going to kill her. So I want to see how much you love your daughter. You're going to be here. You're going to pay me. You're going to clean this fucking joint. You're going to do the right thing. I'm going to give you this picture back. The last thing I want to do is hurt an innocent kid. But it's your decision. It's not mine. You don't come back, she's dead. Your decision. You killed her, not me. Don't look at me. You did it. So clean the fuck up. Go wash your hands, your face. 
clean up and go. And I let them go. When I reported back to Tato, he had a grin from ear to ear. That is so manly. Would you really hurt the girl? No. No. I would have never hurt her. And he would have had to carry that cross, but I would have never hurt her. No, absolutely not. But that's what I told him. So he had to think about it. Tato thought it was a great decision. My stories and my conversations with him got stronger and stronger, and there's so many of them. He would take me in the backyard and smooth with me. And the guy just, he, the way I loved him as a father, I think he loved me as a son. I know it. And stories to come. There's so many stories that this guy loved me. And I felt it. In that life, in Gozunosha, there's a lot of things that are not really fake. You could feel things. You could feel vibes. You could feel love. You could feel when a woman is faking it who really loves you, the way she touches you and holds you and hugs you and the affection. And this isn't about sex. This is about love. So I felt it with Tano. And, uh, and I, we became closer and closer. And I've learned so much about him. You'll hear all those stories down the road, probably in my podcast to come. We're working on that. It'll come out hopefully in the next couple of months, month and a half, or whatever it is. We'll get to that at another time. But let me get back to that story. Them guys came around, and they worked, and they did the right thing. I actually got to like them. They weren't bad guys. They really weren't bad guys. They were crooks. So I look at it like, who the fuck are you? A priest? You're a crook, too. You're a thug. You do a lot of things. Why would you look down at, uh, at this guy? He was decent. And he, he, he just made a mistake and did his things and so on and so forth. When I used to help girls who were strippers, give them a few dollars, it was about strippers and hookers and whores. I don't look down on people. Whether them, if that's what she wants to do, that's her business, who the fuck am I to put her down? Or put anybody down, for that matter. And that's the life. That goes in Austria. Somebody less fortunate than you, you want to sit at home with a fucking computer, you rap fuck. Go ahead. Get up and look in the mirror, Mo. When you call people fucking names or whoever the fuck you are, on occasion I'll get some asshole saying shit like Kraft Mac and Cheese. It's the easiest because it's the cheesiest. Imagine the places we'll go. Together. Expedia. Like that? You think you're any better than these people who were in the mafia or came out? Me, John Gotti, A Light, a hundred different names. Michael Frenchies, a hundred different names I could give you. They're good. They have a good heart. Yeah, they could be violent. So could soldiers. So could politicians. When you want to hate, hate people, that's all you do is sit home and hate on your little computer. I don't even want to talk about that, really. But listen, if you like this video, click like. If you can, and I would appreciate it because I would know that you guys have an interest, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you. Take care. Adios, amigo.